Hello and welcome to this short video which is an excerpt taken from my upcoming book The Numerical Universe. The Sata square or Rotas square is a word square thought to contain a Latin palindrome featuring the words Sator, Arepo, Tenet, Opera, Rotas in this or in the reverse order written in a square so that they may be read top to bottom, bottom to top left to right and right to left. This 2,000 year old puzzle was found in the ruins of Pompeii and then all over the world. The exact translations and its meaning have been the subject of a great deal of scholarly speculation with no clear consensus for either. With the correct letter to number cipher applied, this famous square has revealed itself as a further numerical cipher, one that is central to this numerically created universe. At some point in antiquity, it would seem that the ancients knew a great deal about the numerical, geometric, and harmonic structure of the universe. In this short video, I will link the Sata square to the central number of Kabbalah, 137, a deeply special number which is also associated with the fine structure constant number, the central mystery in theoretical physics today, and a number that has occupied the minds of some of the greatest thinkers of the 20th century. The Sata square, aside from showing all the salient numbers from my partition theory using this cipher, is also connected to my partition theory via the swastika symbol, illuminating the central numbers 27 and 37, while cementing 55 as the king of all numbers, representing the universal central axis. First, I used the original version of the Greek cipher, which translates numbers to letters, and vice versa. Over the years, some of these were taken out of use, so it was important to use this cipher and no more modern version. When we do this, we see the numbers in the table below. I then looked at the same table of numbers in mod 9. Extraordinarily, all the numbers I could hope to see to be relevant to my partition theory were just staring me in the face. The first numbers to leap out at me were those of the fine structure constant number and the number of Kabbalah 137, associated with the greatest mystery in physics and what many consider to be the central question in natural philosophy. It's beautiful also to see how the 137 is encompassed by the numbers 12 and 21, which are the key numbers in the partition table where everything happens. At the 12th stage value for the number 21 in the partition table, we see the number 55, the central axis of the universe as per my partition theory. This is ultimately the answer to why 10, the sum of numbers 1 to 10, is 55. The total of the multicolored lock potentials for the number 21, immediately preceding the 55, also total 137. Further, I draw your attention to 36 and 36 equaling 72, the number that is proposed as representing the effect of physical reality in the partition table, surrounding the central axis totaling 21. And please note also that 36 is the number of components in the holographic plane, an eight-based triangular number, which is also uniquely a square number. At this stage, it seemed clear to me that the Sata square is the creation cipher and of extraordinary and fundamental importance. This idea was further cemented when I went a little off-piste in my thinking and decided to overlay a swastika symbol onto the 5x5 five five Sata square. A 5x5 five five square is the smallest square that you can draw a swastika onto and be able to see it fully defined. The result was frankly unbelievable in terms of its connection to my partition theory.
Extraordinarily, I was rewarded with each swastika arm, totaling the two key numbers for light, 27, and vibration, 37, in my partition theory. The gnomonically related 27 and 37 are the only numbers to produce three-digit recurring decimals as their effect on all other numbers, interpreted geometrically as triangles. These two numbers are also beautifully interrelated like no other. 1 over 27 equals 0 0.0370370037 recurring, and 1 over 37 equals 0 0.0270027027 recurring. This short paper forms just a small part of the partition theory section of my upcoming book, The Numerical Universe. The first two sections of the book, covering the numerical structure and DNA and amino acids, The Game Unpacked, are available online now at www.newunderstandings.com.